The Canadian Liver Foundation is pleased to honor anesthesiologists. I grew up in Winnipeg and did undergraduate studies in Winnipeg uh, in physiology. Moved to British Columbia to do a graduate degree and did a PhD in cellular immunology at Simon Fraser University and Children's Hospital and uh, worked a little bit in that field and then went to medical school when I was 29 and uh, subsequently became an anesthesiologist. I grew up in North Vancouver, went to UBC, graduating in 1976 and uh, subsequently did medical school at UBC uh, followed by a rotating internship in New Zealand along with Dr. Randall. Uh, a, a year of medicine in Australia, traveling through Southeast Asia and Asia um, for six months, and then uh, back to Canada where I, I did my anesthesia residency also uh, at UBC. I started in 1986 at PGH after a residency vision was a uh, year of surgery and then I was trans transferred in anesthesia and subsequent to being in Afghanistan for about a month and a half I took over as medical director of the war. So there's about 12 of us that sort of specialize in liver transplantation anesthesia out of our department and the advantage there is that um, you have a, a smaller group that's passionate about liver transplant that really enjoys doing those cases and as a result, you get um, a special interest in quality improvement and research and uh, how to make that whole process better. Dr. Randall and I were charged with starting the, uh, the uh, liver transplant program. We uh, went to a weekend conference in Pittsburgh where we learned uh, uh, how to do liver transplants and uh, came back from that and, and did the, uh, the first transplant. Unfortunately, things didn't go as well as we had hoped. But things progressed beyond that, and within a year, things, the a situation with the liver transplant patients uh, had improved immensely to the point now that uh, getting through these operations is really not a great deal of difficulty. We come in and we um, see our patient and um, learn about them personally and medically and understand what procedure they're gonna have. We talk to the surgeon to understand what the surgeon is planning, and then we plan our anesthetic. Um, so we, and then we action our plan. So we get our operating room ready, um, we get our drugs ready, we get our airway equipment ready, and we get all of our monitors and lines ready, and then we bring the patient in the room. Very importantly, um, informing the patient as to what we plan to do, uh, what the risks are, and um, instilling uh, confidence in that patient. People always say to me, I can't believe you became an anesthesiologist because you're so personable. And um, I actually think that 10 minutes uh, with the patient when you're first meeting them and you're assessing them and trying to understand where they're coming from, what they're all about, what their fears are. I think that's one of the really special things that we do. They, they, they leave themselves completely in our hands and we, we protect them. Kind of like waiters. A good waiter gets everything done, but you never notice them. It's when you take out the liver during a liver transplant, we become the liver. So we have to take over all of the roles of the liver. So that's you know metabolism and delivery of sugar, biochemical equilibrium, um, generation of uh, coagulation proteins, so the proteins that help the blood clot. So we have to make sure we're sort of replacing all of those things the best that we can. Uh, I was involved with, with uh, a trial that, that brought Rotem to uh, our hospital. Uh, now Rotem is, is, a, is a way of measuring coagulation in blood. Uh, this has made a huge difference in driving transfusion in uh, liver transplantation, cardiac surgery, and uh, trauma. We're, we're using uh, less blood products and we're seeing improved uh, management of, of uh, coagulation problems. I'm most proud of, in, in my profession when I leave at the end of the day and I really feel like I've done a good job. I've, I've managed all the patients uh, in an appropriate uh, way and uh, they've all done extremely well. I quite enjoy the process of making a connection with people, allaying those fears, having them wake up and say, 
like, I can't believe it's over, that was great, or, you know, whatever the, the, the relief statement is of that patient, I think that's a really nice, a nice feeling.